Beneath the calm surface of the mighty Mississippi River, something alarming is unfolding. Newly released INSAR satellite images have uncovered massive cracks tearing through the riverbed, cracks that weren't there just months ago. Scientists are stunned, and communities along the river are starting to ask, what's causing this? Is it seismic activity, land subsidence, or something far more dangerous? Stay with us as we uncover what these cracks mean, what experts are now warning, and why this could be the beginning of a major geological event with nationwide consequences. On Wednesday, a leading conservation group issued a stark warning. The Mississippi River has been declared the most endangered river of 2025. Mere hours earlier, a light earthquake rippled through southeast Missouri, subtle yet unsettling. The Mississippi River, a powerful artery that has shaped the American landscape for millennia, now appears to be under threat from forces hidden deep below its surface. Through high-resolution INSAR satellite imagery, alarming linear fractures have been detected within the riverbed. These are not signs of natural erosion, nor the result of human activity. They are something entirely different. Emerging evidence suggests they may be signals of an impending seismic event. Stretching over 2,300 miles from the headwaters in Minnesota to the Gulf of Mexico, the Mississippi has long stood as one of the world's most iconic rivers, carrying not just sediment and commerce, but also the legacy of generations. Yet beneath its seemingly serene waters lies a treacherous secret, one of North America's most volatile geological regions. The central Mississippi Valley is perched directly atop the New Madrid Seismic Zone, a deeply buried fault system known for its explosive history. Between December 1811 and February 1812, this hidden fault unleashed a devastating series of earthquakes, some estimated to exceed magnitude 7.5. The tremors were so powerful that they caused the river to momentarily reverse course, felled entire forests, reshaped the terrain, and were felt as far away as Boston and Cincinnati. Though the region was sparsely populated at the time, the destruction was profound. Today, that same ground supports millions of people and critical infrastructure, making any future quake potentially catastrophic. Now, over two centuries later, satellite-based INSAR imaging has revealed fresh fractures forming beneath the Mississippi River. These anomalies exhibit characteristics consistent with tectonic movement, rather than surface erosion. More troubling still, some of these cracks appear to be actively shifting, hinting at changes in subsurface pressure. Complementary data from river monitoring stations and seismic surveys point to subtle yet significant alterations in water flow and sediment patterns, an indication that the underlying fault system may be reawakening. The situation is made more precarious by the river itself. The enormous mass of water flowing through the Mississippi exerts dynamic pressure on the Earth's crust. During periods of high rainfall, increased groundwater levels can compress subterranean layers, while drought conditions can trigger sudden rebounds known as isostatic adjustments. These fluctuations may exacerbate existing stress along the fault, potentially nudging it closer to rupture. These are not the result of ordinary sediment displacement or surface erosion. Instead, they slice through thick layers of river mud and silt in patterns that strongly suggest tectonic activity. The cracks vary significantly. Some are mere surface breaks, while others plunge tens of meters into the subsurface. Certain fractures appear to have formed recently. Others show signs of continued widening, particularly near the tri-state junction of Missouri, Tennessee, and Arkansas. Their alignment and orientation closely mirror tectonic stress fields, pointing to the exertion of deep structural pressure beneath the riverbed. Monitoring buoys anchored in the sediment have measured lateral displacements occurring over just a few months, shifts subtle to the eye but geologically significant. These findings have compelled geologists to reassess the seismic behavior of the region, once thought to be in relative slumber. Further intensifying scientific concern are temperature anomalies detected directly above several of these cracks. Infrared thermal imaging has captured localized heating in these areas, hinting at rising geothermal activity. While friction along fault planes might account for this, some researchers propose a more unsettling possibility, the upward movement of fluids or magma from deeper crustal layers. Supporting this, core samples extracted from the vicinity show disrupted and vertically shifted sediment layers, a hallmark of recent seismic or pre-seismic energy release. 
Perhaps most alarming is the alignment of many new fractures with previously documented but long dormant fault lines. This correlation suggests the potential reawakening of these ancient tectonic scars, possibly triggered by evolving regional stress dynamics or external tectonic forces. One geologist described the phenomenon as an early whisper from a sleeping giant. Adding to this narrative, satellite-based INSAR, Interferometric Synthetic Aperture Radar, has detected subtle ground deformation, including bulging riverbanks adjacent to fracture zones. These surface uplifts, though measured in millimeters, may signal crustal inflation, a frequent precursor to seismic rupture. Together, these observations reveal a landscape far more geologically dynamic than previously understood. The Mississippi River, ancient and seemingly unchanging, is being subtly reshaped by powerful forces deep within the Earth. The pressing question now is whether these fractures represent harmless stress adjustments or the forewarnings of a larger, potentially catastrophic event reminiscent of the historic quakes of 1811 and 1812. While research continues, one conclusion has already emerged. The riverbed is no longer silent, it is stirring. However, beneath the heart of the Mississippi River Valley lies a powerful yet often overlooked geological threat, the New Madrid Seismic Zone. Stretching roughly 150 miles through southeastern Missouri into northeastern Arkansas, western Tennessee, western Kentucky, and southern Illinois, this fault system is among the most dangerous in the United States. Unlike the well-known San Andreas Fault in California, which marks a boundary between tectonic plates, the New Madrid Zone is an intraplate fault, one that lies deep within the interior of the North American plate. Though rare and poorly understood, intraplate faults can be especially destructive. Their seismic energy travels farther due to the ancient, rigid bedrock of the eastern United States, allowing quakes to impact areas hundreds, even thousands of miles away. The region's geological structure compounds the risk. The older, denser rock transmits seismic waves more efficiently than the fragmented crust of places like California, meaning even moderate tremors can be widely felt. The historical record offers a sobering precedent. During the winter of 1811 and 1812, a series of powerful earthquakes estimated to have reached magnitudes as high as 7.8 shook the region. These quakes tore open the ground, created waterfalls where none had existed, and even caused the Mississippi River to flow backward. Vibrations were felt as far away as Pittsburgh and Charleston, underscoring the immense reach of the seismic waves. In modern times, the threat has not disappeared. On the contrary, subtle signals suggest that pressure may once again be building deep underground. Seismic instruments have detected an uptick in microquakes, low-frequency rumbles, and minor ground deformation, signs that stress may be accumulating along ancient fault lines. Cracks have been found in the Mississippi Riverbed, and satellite radar has revealed land shifting in areas far from the known fault system, indicating the possible involvement of a broader geological structure. The potential consequences of another major rupture are staggering. Many cities situated atop this fault zone, including Memphis and St. Louis, were not designed with large earthquakes in mind. Soft soil along the Mississippi River can amplify seismic waves, increasing the risk of a phenomenon called soil liquefaction, where the ground behaves like a fluid and undermines buildings and infrastructure, even those not directly above the fault. Modern utilities such as gas lines, bridges, and power plants are also at risk, and a major quake could cripple critical infrastructure for years. Despite this looming danger, public awareness remains surprisingly low. In contrast to the attention given to California's seismic activity, the threat posed by the New Madrid Zone is often ignored or underestimated. Seismologists and emergency planners continue to urge preparedness, emphasizing that the calm of the past two centuries offers no guarantee of future stability. The recent geological activity may be subtle, but it serves as a quiet, persistent warning that the new Madrid seismic zone is not dormant, only waiting. And should it awaken again, the impact could echo across a nation, unprepared for the devastation beneath its feet. The infrastructure lining the Mississippi River serves as the lifeblood of regional commerce and daily transportation, yet it harbors a hidden vulnerability. Many bridges that span this critical artery were constructed long before seismic resilience was a design requirement in the central United States. 
If a significant earthquake were to strike, the violent tremors could fracture bridge decks, compromise support pillars, and effectively sever key transportation links stretching from the Midwest to the Gulf Coast. Equally alarming is the dense network of oil and gas pipelines running beneath the Mississippi Corridor. Some of these conduits carry millions of barrels daily, making them vital to national energy distribution. Many intersect or run parallel to known and potentially reactivated fault lines. A rupture from seismic shock could result in catastrophic explosions, environmental crises, and crippling fuel shortages across multiple states. Levees and dams, structures designed to restrain water rather than withstand seismic assault, are also at significant risk. An earthquake could lead to the failure of these barriers through foundation liquefaction, structural slumping, or complete collapse, especially devastating during periods of high water. The resulting floods could engulf low-lying communities, strain emergency responders to the brink, and displace countless residents. The threat extends beyond physical structures. High-voltage transmission lines, substations, and even nuclear power facilities dotting the region face potential disruption. While nuclear plants adhere to stringent safety protocols, they rely heavily on external systems such as cooling intakes and backup generators, systems that may be rendered inoperative during a seismic event. Should any of these fail, the consequences could be dire. Urban centers such as Memphis, St. Louis, and Little Rock sit precariously close to the New Madrid seismic zone. These cities are not only home to millions, but also house some of the nation's most vital logistics networks and medical facilities. Memphis, a global hub for freight distribution, could see national supply chains thrown into disarray by a single major quake. The resulting blackout could paralyze hospitals, sever communication networks, and compromise emergency evacuation plans. Entire communities might find themselves isolated, overwhelmed, and unprepared. Recovery from such a disaster would not be measured in weeks or months, but in years, if not decades. Damage assessments would reveal losses far beyond financial estimates. According to FEMA projections, a quake on par with the historic 1811 to 1812. Events could inflict more than $300 billion in damages. This would encompass collapsed infrastructure, widespread fires from ruptured gas lines, and cascading disruptions to utilities and commerce. Yet, such a number fails to capture the emotional and human toll. More than 7 million lives could be directly impacted, families uprooted, homes destroyed, lives forever altered. In cities with aging infrastructure, especially those built from unreinforced brick, entire neighborhoods could be reduced to rubble. Even modern buildings, if not designed to withstand seismic forces, would be at risk. Perhaps most troubling is the lack of awareness. Many residents remain unaware that they live above one of North America's most dangerous seismic zones. Public education about earthquake preparedness is minimal, and planning is far from adequate. The result is a region where high risk collides with low readiness. Beneath many towns and suburbs, homes are precariously perched on unstable ground that could liquefy under the violent shaking of a major earthquake, compromising foundations and toppling buildings. While California has long incorporated seismic resilience into its infrastructure, shaped by decades of scientific insight, public policy and education, the central United States remains dangerously underprepared. In this region, earthquakes are rarely factored into urban planning, construction practices, or public consciousness. Emergency protocols are often outdated or non-existent. Essential facilities such as schools, hospitals, and government buildings frequently lack the seismic reinforcements found in more quake-aware states. The consequences of this oversight could be catastrophic. In the event of a major earthquake, widespread confusion and panic may erupt, exacerbated by limited public understanding of the risks. Vital communication lines, cell towers, fiber optics, thread through vulnerable zones and could be severed, crippling coordination of rescue and recovery efforts. Transportation routes essential for food, fuel, and medicine could be disrupted, and cascading failures in power grids, water distribution, and sewage systems might trigger secondary crises. Even more unsettling is the role of the Mississippi River. In 1812, seismic upheaval altered its course. Should it happen again, newly flooded areas could isolate major ports and sever key shipping arteries. The nation's agricultural and energy supply chains, heavily dependent on these routes, could be paralyzed for weeks. 
Some experts worry that the fractures beneath the riverbed may be the only forewarning of an impending disaster. These aren't just geological features, they are signals that pressure is accumulating, and the Earth is under immense strain. Scientists are now intensifying their scrutiny of the Mississippi River Valley. Research teams from the U.S. Geological Survey and several academic institutions have installed high-precision equipment seismometers, GPS stations, and deep borehole sensors to detect even the faintest underground shifts. The phenomenon known as creep, a subtle yet persistent ground movement, is being observed with growing concern. Though not accompanied by tremors, it may indicate escalating stress along buried fault lines. Complementing ground instruments are advanced satellite technologies like NSAR, capable of detecting imperceptible changes in land elevation and displacement. Chemical sensors now monitor emissions of gases like radon and helium, gaseous indicators that may betray deep geologic movement. Collectively, these innovations are allowing scientists to piece together a more detailed and dynamic picture of what lies beneath the surface. Though the precise timing of earthquakes remains elusive, this expanded network of monitoring tools has improved the chances of early detection. Experts are calling for greater federal support to enhance research and preparedness in the central U.S., especially within the Mississippi Seismic Corridor. The cracks beneath the river might look insignificant, but in geophysics, it's not the appearance that matters, it's the implications. These fissures could very well be the first signs of the next great American earthquake. No one can say for certain, but the accumulating evidence suggests the ground is shifting and the nation should be listening. The danger isn't just geological, it's also psychological, embedded in outdated assumptions that the past cannot repeat. But history is not a distant memory, it is a warning. The Earth does not forget, and neither should we. If you found this exploration eye-opening, consider what it truly means, not just for the Mississippi River region, but for the nation as a whole. The ground beneath us is speaking, not in words, but in pressure, movement, and fracture. Scientists are listening. The question is, are we? Don't wait for the next tremor to shake us into awareness. Stay informed, stay prepared, and help spread the word. Like, share, and subscribe for more in-depth looks at Earth's hidden forces. Because understanding what lies beneath could be the key to surviving what lies ahead.